Hello, welcome to Pierre Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're doing a bit of a comparison video because I hate Jose Cuervo. But I like traditional. Especially Al Crap, traditional good. But what's the main difference between the two is the big question because a lot of people like the especial, the gold, and the other silver. And I don't, but I love the traditional because this is different a lot from the original. Main reason is. As you can see, well, for one, it's almost gone. So I got probably just enough for this review, and that's pretty much it. But right about here, 100% the agave. You look at it, especially nowhere. It doesn't say anywhere on there that it's 100% the agave. The one thing about especial Jose Cuervo, and a few other tequilas out there that don't say 100% the agave, it's basically maybe 50% agave, and then just a lot of other additives. So a lot of people who hate tequila because every time they have it, it gives nothing but headaches, migraines, it's a bad taste in their mouth, it's just, just disgusting. It's because of the Jose Cuervo make it the most popular out there in selling crap. But they have really good brand on top of that with the traditional. But they're pushing the especial so much because it's cheap, it's easy to make, and almost every bar you can think of has it. And people at Tipsy Bartender use it a lot, and I don't know why, because it's disgusting. Get some Suerte tequila, get some Salsa Blue tequila out there. Anything other than Especial, because Especial is crap. Traditional is good. So we're going to do a comparison as far as the two together, to show you what the main difference is as far as flavor. It could, I kind of went with the gold, but the thing is we're going with a... They do make this in the gold too, so I have it in both ways. So, since I'm going with a silver tradition now, I think I might as well go with the silver especial. But let's show you the difference between these two so you can definitely get an idea. And here's also another thing, I forget exactly what it is, I mentioned it one time when I was actually on Derek's show, that if you look at almost any tequila bottle, pretty much any tequila period, it's going to have on the back where it says NOM and then a number. I don't know if you can see it, but see how that one says NOM 122? Depends if my camera focuses or not. But NOM 122 is basically the facility it's made at. So if I look at this one, it should say pretty much the same. Which it does, NOM 1122. There's a couple of tequilas that are made in that same location. If you look at Salsa, I forget the exact one they're made in, but each one is different. But anything that's tequila, as far as Jose Cuervo, it's roughly going to be their facility. I believe 901 Tequila is also an 1122 NOM. So it tells you like who makes it and as far as like different batches. Now, one thing you can tell, same color, no difference in that. They both have a really, wow, yeah, that smells funky. They both really have a strong agave scent, but this one smells cleaner, has a bit of a buttery smell to it. It doesn't smell as strong. It's not overpowering. This one, it's more, this smells really bad, to say the least. It smells more of a peppery smell to it. You can smell the agave just as strong, a lot more of a pepper smell to it. Now, as far as taste, traditional, it's smoother. It doesn't have like a really strong burn to it. I say I didn't put water in it. I had the water there just because that's how you do my reviews. But it doesn't have a strong burn. It's smoother. It tastes cleaner. It does have a strong agave flavor. That's one thing I noticed with Jose Cuervo in general, whether traditional, special, or whatever they have. Even 901, which is made in the same facility, it's a strong agave flavor. Some other tequilas, you don't really get that strong agave, but these is pretty strong. Now, 
That's why I ain't going to drink it, but for sure I will. That just smells really bad. Wow, in comparison. It just... It's such a huge difference in flavor. As I said, with the traditional, it's cleaner. There's a little more of a sweetness to it. It's smooth. It doesn't have as much burn. It's not overly peppery, but you do get a decent amount of agave. This one, you're getting more of the pepper. You're getting a strong agave flavor. You get more of the burn. It doesn't taste as smooth. It doesn't have as much sweetness as you get with the other one. And just you're tasting different things in there. They just don't taste as clean as a traditional. Smell alone, if you have them side by side, you can definitely tell because clean, buttery agave flavor, strong, nasty, peppery crap, to say the least. So that's one of the main differences between the two. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water because that's going to help bring out more of the aromas. So I'll knock it down to roughly 20% because it's at 40% right now. You add a decent amount of water, you're going to knock it down to about 20, 35% at most. So it's going to make it more palatable as far as the flavor goes. And as I said, smoother, not as strong, a little more stronger, and really nasty. Now as far as smell, now you can really get the agave and the butter notes. Strong sense of butterscotch, a little bit of vanilla, definitely a little sweeter. Just, yeah. Pepper and agave, very mild buttery notes. Not much at all. It just smells bad. It really does. Now, flavor wise, Still get that sweetness, the nice buttery flavors, smoother, even knock down a little bit of water. It def definitely has a lot of that flavor in there. It's actually really good having that straight over the rocks. Now this one, ooh, just it's. Stronger, but not in a good way. You're getting more of that pepper. When you add the water, it's like all them flavors of the, especially all come out, all the bad flavors had that. The pepper, the pungentness, the, the impurities, all the other stuff is there. I don't know what the base product is with this special, but it's not good. If you make a tequila, uh, an authentic 100% tequila, you want to use 100% de agave. Because when you have something that's like a lower percentage of agave, maybe 25%, 50%, and you're just adding that to like a base spirit, you're not getting what you're really trying to sell. You're saying it's tequila, but basically it's agave flavored te spirit. This liquor. That's it. But as I said, traditional, it's so much better. It's sweeter. It's, I, I can actually drink over the rocks. Kind of sucks that I'm actually almost gone. This you can buy for about $25 a bottle for a seven. Here's a catch. This $750 bottle, well, yeah, about a 750 milliliter bottle. $25. This 1.75 liter bottle, 19 bucks. Did I tell you something right there? It's crap. 19 for more than double the amount of that, and this is still more expensive. That tells you you're getting a better product with traditional. You're getting an overall better quality. It's smoother. It's more flavorful. It's better in your margaritas or any other type of uh, tequila-flavored beverage you make. Definitely, if you go... 
I'm not saying Jose Cuervo is a bad brand because they make a good product. But if you go Jose Cuervo, definitely go traditional because I make it in this and make it in the gold. You can have it either way. If you like it, the gold flavor, then you can have your gold. Not exactly a Reposado because Reposado is aged and that's how it gets a lot of its color. But one thing also about Jose Cuervo is basically colored. They add the caramel coloring to it. It's not really aged like your Reposados. But definitely traditional over special. That's especially little crap. That's traditionally good. But I hope you like this comparison video. Let me know what you guys think. If you're gung-ho for Jose Cuervo traditional, I don't know why. If you're like Tipsy Bartender where you use this almost every time you use tequila, yeah, it's crap. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know your opinions. If you ever had both of them together, or if all you ever had was a special, let me know. Comment below. As always, like us on Facebook, Conspiracy Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Submit your cocktails. Any ideas for spiritual review? Just anything. Just let me know. But as always, drink responsibly.